It's mailbags, starting off today's opening, as I tend to do, with the beer of the day. This time, it is Beer in a Barrel Maple Nut Brown Ale from Handsome Lad Brewing in Winnipeg. They don't have any tasting notes to speak of on here, other than that it's a strong beer and that it's made with 100% real maple syrup. Doesn't get much more cliched Canadian than that. That's quite pleasant and not overly sugary. I was a little concerned about that, but it occurs to me that I have had that one before. Anyway, uh, first thing in, it says DC Power Jack Socket, which it could be, or maybe it's not. Maybe it's a plastic sheet this time. No, it is in fact DC Power Jacks. So this looks like, oh, it's an assortment. Okay. Um, so we've got uh, five of the plugs and two different kinds of sockets. Looks like five of this kind and 10 of this kind. Oh, and these ones are switching too. Notice that there's three tabs on there. So when the plug's out, the uh, little contact piece in there uh, connects two, or two of the pins together. So that then if you've got uh, you know, batteries or something inside your device, it can pass through. But when you plug that in, it separates them and then the plug takes over and the batteries are disconnected. Oh, these ones are also switching ones. Okay. Well, that's handy. Ten pieces DC connectors, 5.5 by 2.1 millimeters or 3.5 by 1.3 DC power plug male female jack socket nut panel mount DC power adapter connector. Ha. <sighs> so I got from the same seller this assortment here of five... Uh, jacks and five sockets for 278 Canadian and also 10 of this style for two dollars and 19 cents for the lot um, each one well they have a dollar 19 shipping but they uh, combine shipping because both were deals from the same seller so that's nice off to an excellent start what do we have next it says electronic components well that's entirely accurate I guess what do we have? What do we have? Some little boards. There's three of them the same. They each come with a little power wire. Three pin power wire. Two of the pins are power and one of them is signal. Okay, we have a reset button over there. A couple of uh, pins over here. LED marked power. Uh, what's that? VCC and ground again. I'm going to guess that's a regulator. And this connector here... Looks like it is the one that matches with the ESP8266-01. Go on there. Yeah. So that is basically the cheapest uh, ESP8266 you can get. It's only got a couple of GPIO built out. But if that's all you need is a couple of GPIO and Wi-Fi capability and some processing, then that's the perfect thing. A clever person might have read the markings on the board. This is an ESP01S RGB LED module. Aha! So this signal pin here on this is intended to go to a pixel strip, a WS2812 strip. Okay, that is a really handy, cheap little board. I mean, you could probably use that signal for any GPIO, just depending on your programming, but... That seems to be what it's designed for. And I got three of them. ESP8266, ESP01, ESP01S, RGB, LED, IDE adapter, IDE adapter, uh, controller module, WS2812 for Arduino. Super cheap, yeah. Buck uh, 57 American or 213 Canadian, uh, $1.34 shipping. So... Yeah, that's probably why I bought more than one of them, just so that the shipping would split up a little bit. This is a WS2812 RGB LED control module. You can use it with any WS2812 light bar or ring or any of that kind of thing. Yeah, the control pin is on GPIO2. That's useful information. Not that you have much choice. There's only, like I said, two or three GPIO available on the ESP01, but still. So the positive fly voltage on the VCC on the board is connected to the 2012 three pin connector. Operating voltage 3.7 to 5 volts. Yeah. 
but we have to remember that the ESP8266 is a 3.3 volt device. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw a regulator on that board. So well, this should be interesting to play with. Yep, that is a 3.3 volt regulator on there. Okay, good. Next in, what's in the box? What's in the box? It says headless hex screws. Oh, this is becoming a common occurrence. Although this is from my normal mail, not from my P.O. box. So this must be some that I ordered. Yes, it is. M3x12, M3x8, and M3x10 set screws. I remember, yeah, I ordered some of these before I started getting them from anonymous donors. So <laughs> now I have a good supply of them, which is excellent because, as I've said many times, metric hardware, despite Canada being officially a metric country, metric hardware is a little bit challenging to find here and ridiculously expensive when you do find it. So... Ordering from overseas is a reasonable option. 10 pieces M3 by 8 black 12.9 headless sex socket screw Allen set screws grub blah 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 blah. Ah, that's why. That's the other reason I got these. I bought 10 of them at auction for a whole 14 cents with free shipping. Also, 10 M3 by 10 for the same 14 cents with free shipping and M3 by 12 for the same. 14 cents with free shipping all auctions obviously by the time you're seeing this these auctions are long expired so i will uh link to just a search term that finds these hopefully um and just keep an eye maybe there's an auction coming up and you can get some cheap like this too rolling right along we have it polyamide oh polyamide tape maybe if that's being honest well protected anyway yeah it's two rolls of polyamide aka capped on tape um what have i got here one centimeter or 10 millimeter width and that looks like is that about five millimeters yeah that looks like about five millimeters okay this is just one of those consumables you go through it's an excellent electrical insulator it's an excellent thermal in, well reasonable thermal insulator um it is relatively fireproof it is heat resistant it doesn't lose its grip it's it's good stuff it's cheap it's also really thin compared to uh your typical vinyl electrical tape so useful in a number of applications and i just keep using it up so anytime i see some cheap i'll grab some more 5, 10, 20, 30, 50 millimeter by 33 meters, high temperature, heat resistant insulation tape, polyamide, polyamide. I got the 5 and 10 millimeter size from the same seller. Currently, they are overcharging $12 a roll. $13 a roll. Okay, that's ridiculous. I am going to link you to this same seller's listing, but... When you get here, use some of these keywords to search and see if you can find something cheaper. Here's what I paid for them uh, back a couple of months ago. Uh, $1.59 US for the 10 millimeter and 99 cents for the 5 millimeter. If you search around, if you're a bit diligent, um, you should be able to find that kind of deals too. But uh, just because I'm linking to this one seller doesn't mean you have to go to that one if you're looking for these. As always, I've saved the largest one for last, hoping that it is also the most interesting one. This thing feels a little bit soft. I'm not quite sure what it is. Bubble wrap, that's good. Cloth? What? Oh! <laughs> oh, it's a Christmas package from Kai Wheats. Okay, I wasn't expecting that to show up yet. Let's just see what's in Santa's sack here. That's awfully nice of them. We've got a collared shirt. That's nice. With their logo on the front and a huge logo on the back. Very nice. What is this other cloth thing here? It's like scarf length, but this is the uh, that lint-free cloth that you use for cleaning lenses and stuff. Lenses like these ones right here, for instance. So that is nice. I mean, it... 
it looks like it's scarf length, but it's it's light, so I don't think it is a scarf. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's that uh, that lint-free cloth with the logo, of course, because it is promo stuff. What is this guy? We have a little keyring lanyard thing and another keyring. Oh, isn't that fancy? Wee! And a miniature screwdriver. Okay. I mean, they're our tool company after all. And then the final thing. What is in the little box? Oh, is that, what is this? It's got batteries. There's some LR44 batteries in there. Cells, yeah, I know. Okay, and what else do we have in here? Some little pen nibs. Okay. So three little ink cartridges. Um, is that a pen on the end there? No, what is this? I'm going to have to investigate. Oh, there's a little flashlight on the back end of it. Okay. And it blinks. It's on. Blinks off. Okay. Pocket clip. I'm wondering if there is screwdriver tips hidden inside. Oh, a little blade. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I just... There we go. There's the pen. So I think that's a pen. Yes, that is a pen. Okay. So that is an interesting little multi-tool. Is that just a scriber maybe? Yeah, I think that's just a hardened scriber on the end. Well, that's a nifty little thing. I haven't, I've seen lots of promo stuff over the years from various different companies, but I haven't seen that particular little one. It looks very tactical. I like it. And there is the contents of today's Mailbag Monday haul. Surprising, useful, neat stuff all around. Um, as I said earlier, uh, this is this tape is just uh, supplies because it's consumable and I always go through it. These screws are always good to have because metric screws seem to be the way of the world these days. Power connectors, a variety to add to the collection because, again... There's something that you use. There are parts are consumable, right? And then there's these little ESP01 modules intended to be controlling uh, pixel strips, but you can use them for any place that you really need just one or two GPIOs, well, one, I guess, out of a Wi-Fi board. And yeah, they should be fun to play with and experiment with. Thank you all once again for tuning in and watching. Um, thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube channel members for helping me fund all this madness, keeping the beer fridge full, all those good things. Thanks to Kaiweets for the various bits of test equipment that I've uh, looked at over the years and uh, helping me stock up my shop with tools. And yeah, just uh, thanks to everybody for watching. Um, once again, I really do appreciate it. Questions and comments down below. Another uh, kit build coming on Friday. I will talk to you later.